I know it's normal for your heart to skip a bit each time you remember how much you owe. And I hear a lot of people say they would love to pay down their debt or completely get rid of it altogether, but they aren't quite sure of the best way to do it or where to get started. Well, there really isn't any best way on how to get out of debt that actually works perfectly for everyone. But there are some strategies that could make paying off your debt faster and less painful. So the more of the strategies we're gonna be discussing in this video you can apply, the faster you will get out of debt. So even with a low income, if you're ready to get out of debt, you might want to consider, in fact, you should consider one of these tried and true methods. Before we get started, you need to stop the cell guilt. Yes, you, mm, come close. And know that you are not the only one in debt. You are not the only one. Now, no matter what type of debt you're in, whether it's credit card debt, student loan, car loans, um, personal loans, or something else, whatever it is, it's important to know there is a way out. It may not happen overnight, but a debt-free future could be yours if you create a plan and stick with it long enough. Now, let's look at some steps you could take to paying your debt faster, even if you have a low income. The first thing you have to do is... Come stop acquiring new debts. To pay off your debts, you have to stop acquiring new ones. It might seem okay to borrow money to pay off your debts, but you might actually be digging yourself deeper into the mess. And I understand it's difficult to avoid taking new loans, especially when you have a low income. But everything, I mean, it all begins in the mind. And deciding to stop taking loans is the first step you must take to be debt free. However, on some rare occasions where you have an advantage of getting a 0% introductory APR credit card, it might seem wise to take it. But be sure to clear the debt within the given time because the interest rate on the 0% introductory credit card can be astronomical when they begin. So if you don't know what a 0% APR credit card means, it's a credit card that actually offers interest for a period of time, typically between 6 to 21 months. Um, during this introductory um, no interest period, you don't incur interest on your purchases, balance transfer, or both. It all depends on the card. The next step is to determine how much you owe. You can't pay off your debt if you don't know how much you owe. I know it can be intimidating to think of all the debt you have got and the bills that never stop coming, but no one has actually conquered their fears by avoiding them completely. So it's important you make a list of all your debts, their repayment dates, accrued interest and any other fees you might incur in the course of repayment. Now this gives you a clear picture of your financial state and where more urgency is needed. The next step is to review your monthly income and expenses. Now, once you have a clearer picture of how much you're owing and the time you have to pay off your debt, now it's time to review your income and expenses. Now, tracking your income and what you spend it on will help you determine how you got into debt in the first place. With that, it'll be easier to cut off expenses, especially the irrelevant ones. Tracking your income might be difficult if you earn from multiple sources at different times in the month. To ensure you get an accurate result, make a list of guaranteed incomes and take an average. However, if you earn a paycheck at the end of the month, you don't have any side hustles, tracking your income could be easier. You just know what you're deducting. In both cases, make a list of your income and by the side, another list of what you spend it on. This is a necessary step you shouldn't skip if you must pay up your debt faster, even with a low income. The next step is to adopt a debt payoff strategy. Now with your debt amount, the average income and the expenses already clear to you, the next step is to adopt a payoff strategy. Now there are three strategies you can use to pay off your debt faster. There are the snowball method, the avalanche method, and the debt consolidation. The snowball method. Now, this step requires you to pay off um, debts with the smallest balances first. So as a small income earner, the snowball method is more favorable to you. To begin, you make a list of all your debts from the smallest to the largest, including the interest and lead fees. Then from your income, pay off the smallest debt first and make minimum payments to the others. Proceed to pay off the next smallest debt and continue that way until all the debts are repaid. One thing about this debt payment method is that it takes the pressure off and gives you a sense of fulfillment at the end of each debt clearance. Like so, while tackling the small debts first, you have balances in your income to take care of your needs. This prevents you from taking on more debts to fund your needs until the next payday. The next is the avalanche method. So this method requires you to pay off debts with the highest interest rates. First, while making minimum payments on others, this method is appropriate for people with huge income or multiple large income sources. So as a low income earner, paying off your largest debt first might require you to take on more loans. This is because putting all your income into debt leaves you with nothing 
to take care of your essential needs. Now, the next one is the debt consolidation method. Now, the debt consolidation method involves rolling all your in high interest loans into one and taking out a new loan to pay them off. This method is great, especially if you're able to get a low interest rate on your loan. It consolidates your debts and allows you to make single monthly payments rather than multiple payments. However, the downside of this method is that it requires you to take on more debt. It would require a great deal of discipline to get the most out of debt consolidation. The next step is to drop expensive habits. So if you're in debt and you consistently come up short every month, now, Evaluating your habits might be the best idea. So no matter what it is, it makes sense to look at the small ways you spend money daily. That way you can evaluate whether those purchases are worth it and come up with ways to minimize them or better still, get rid of them. Now, if your expensive habits are smoking or drinking, that's an easy one. Just quit. Because alcohol and tobacco do absolutely nothing except stand between you and your long-term goals. Now, if your expensive habits are less, mm -hmm, like daily latte drinking coffee restaurant lunches during um, work hours or fast food the best plan of attack is cutting down the goal or better still eliminating these behaviors or replacing them with something less expensive now the next step is to sell everything you don't need so if you're looking for ways to come up with some cash quickly it might pay to take stock of your belongings first most of us have stuff lying around the house that we rarely use or things we could actually live without things we really don't use. So why not sell the extra stuff and come up with funds to pay off your debts? So if you live in a neighborhood that permits it, a good old fashioned garage sale is normally the cheapest and the easiest way to unfold the unwanted belongings for a profit. Otherwise, you can consider selling your items through consignment shop, one of the many online resellers out there, or Facebook marketplace or Facebook yard sale. Next step is to pick a side hustle. Attacking your debts with the debt snowball method will speed up the process, but any more money can actually amplify your efforts even further. So nearly everyone has a talent or skill they can monetize. So whether it's a babysitting to cleaning houses or becoming a virtual assistant. By the way, I've made a video on how to become a virtual assistant with no experience. So if you want, you can actually go to the link in the description. I'm gonna put the link there and watch that video. So with sites like TaskRabbit, Upwork, and there are a lot of Fiverr, nearly anyone can find a way to make extra money by the side. The key is to take any extra money you earn and use it and pay off your loan right away. There are low income side hustles that can actually give you an extra 500 to a thousand dollars. That's enough to clear some small debts. Or you can increase your skill set so that you can ask for a pay raise at your current job. Whichever way you choose to go about it, an increase in your income would relieve your debts faster. The next step is to make savings and invest them. So while you're clearing your debts, it's important to think about the future by making savings and investing. It's possible to make savings while clearing your debts. All you need to do is be strategic about it. Putting a certain percentage of your income, no matter how small, into a savings plan helps you avoid getting into debt in the future. Now with a compounding saving plan, you'll be able to save enough to make profitable investment. So when it comes to paying off your debt with a low income, the first and most important step to paying off your debt is believing it is achievable. So no matter how deep you're in debt, no matter how deep you are and how low your income is, you can actually get out of debt with the right mindset. So it's important to pay attention to your inner thoughts regarding your financial health and work hard to make it better. Be intentional about making your finances better this year. So I hope I've been able to give you insight on how to get debt free this year, 2023. I want you to be intentional about your spending habits, about your uh, debt habits, spend what you can pay. So for your credit card, actually you should spend what you can repay immediately. Now, if you have a bad credit score and you're looking for how to increase your credit score, I have done a video on how to increase your credit score. I'm gonna put the link here, watch the video, and I'm gonna leave the link in the description box and I'm also gonna put it here. So watch the video, I'll see you in the video. Bye for now.